Today we're going to cover sizing of the muzzles in the catalogs and on the hyperlinks on the webpage. You're going to see a five measurement step on how to measure muzzles. And what we're going to do is go over the key points on the dog on how to make that measurement to make more accurate assumption on what type of muzzle you're going to use. The first measurement is from the tip of the nose to the base of the skull. So based on the dog, what that means is the tip of the nose. The best thing to use is a soft tailor's tape. If you don't have access to one of these, the best way to use an interim, take a piece of string. It's going to be at least three feet long. And then when you're done, you're, you're going to measure whatever measurement points I'm using. Keep a mark on that string and then use a straight ruler to, and it'll do the same thing. But you've got to use something that's soft and pliable for these types of measurements. The A measurement is from the tip of the nose to the base of the skull. When you feel the back of the dog, you're going to feel where his cranium starts to go into his neck. And that's where you want that measurement to be. And it's going to be a tight measurement, not super tight to where you're digging into the dog, but a, a snug enough measurement. You're going to take that measurement, that's your A measurement. The B measurement is going from that same area, almost where you would either size a pinch collar or a normal choke chain when you're up in what's called the high correction area, which is the base of the skull, high point of the neck, right under his chin level. So you're going to take the soft tape again, you're going to go around his neck in again a snug manner, not a loose manner. Take that measurement, that's your B measurement. C measurement, we're going with the muzzle now. You're going to go right in front of his eyes. You're going to take the measurement and it's around the biggest part of his muzzle, which for most dogs is right in front of their eyes. You're going to start at the middle. You're going to take the tape all the way around. Take that measurement. That's your C measurement. The D measurement is from the tip of the nose to the inside corner of the eye. Not the outside corner, not the bottom, the inside where his tear duct is. You go from the tip in a straight line and take that measurement. If you go to the other side, it's going to give you an off measurement. This is a critical measurement for muzzles, otherwise the muzzle will fit back into the dog's eyes. Now, and that is your C measurement, or your correction, your D measurement. Your E measurement is the most easily confused and the most often mismeasured. When you're looking at your canine, you're going to go under his neck under his jawbone, you're going to feel where, his, feel where his esophagus goes up and you're going to feel a bump where it transitions into his throat. From that bump, you want to take the tape measure horizontally, not point to point, horizontally. You want to draw an imaginary 90 degree line from that horizontal tape to the tip of his nose and that is your E measurement. So again, it's going to be a horizontal measurement from where his neck comes into the tape to a 90 degree line. To the tip of his nose. So his nose should be up here. The tape measure, the tip of it should not be touching anything on the dog and that's what your E measurement is. With those measurements, after you take those, you give us a call and we have a sizing chart and that'll give us a good estimation on which of the muzzles is going to fit accurately. It's not an exact science, but it'll give us a lot more sense of what type of muzzle needs to go on the dog. Now when you're fitting the muzzle, we're going to use the ram muzzle. Once you've purchased it and it comes in, Muzzle is going to come in like this. This is a black ram. Inside of the muzzle, of course, self-explanatory. There's up with the curve. Everything in the dog's head is going to go in here. Neck strap, head strap. So when you call us for troubleshooting, that's what we're going to talk about. Head strap, neck strap. When you put this on the dog, you're going to set it over his muzzle. And obviously, this is too big for Fred here. But we're going to go, you're going to go back, and the neck strap is going to cinch around here. When you put this, this type of muzzle on, especially an agitation muzzle that's being used correctly, it has to be snug. If I'm doing the decoy work and this comes off, somebody's going to get hurt. And for any type of safety, that's, you want the muzzle to stay on the dog. The neck muzzle goes on. The first thing you do is the neck strap. Go around the dog. You should be able to fit one finger underneath it. It's not like a traditional training collar or anything like that. You want this snug to where it's not cutting off oxygen, but it's snug. Now. What's also commonly misdone with the head strap, once the neck strap is on the dog, you're, most of the time your head strap has kind of got a bow to it. When you adjust that, all you want to do is take the slack out of it. You don't tighten it. Because what happens when you tighten it is you're going to pull this back into his eyes. So basically what you want to do is when it's sitting on the dog because his neck strap is tight, you're going to just take the slack out of it and let it go. So you still should have some give in it. The key purpose of the head strap is to keep the dog from being able to kick the muzzle down. That's all it's for. It doesn't have to be tight. And if it's over tight, it's going to pull back into your dog's eyes. And after all, they're going to be wearing these for a lot of times, no matter what the training purpose or what the purpose of the muzzle is. So you want it to be comfortable. You want it to fit right because otherwise it's going to poke into their eyes and things like that. If there are problems with the fitment, 
once you get the collar, this should give you also a basis that when you call us, you'll give us an idea of what measurement's wrong. And that's how you size a muzzle and fit a muzzle.